Why not? Can I give you one of these? I'm just trying to clean the streets off of drugs and alcohol. If you know anyone that has issues, I do it for free of charge. I give them counseling. Uh, do, you, do you do drugs and alcohol or are you okay? I drink a beer once as well. Well, that's good. I mean, you know what? As long as you know how to do it, like you can control like me, I'm an alcoholic. Uh -huh. For years, I was drinking 10, 15 shots of vodka every day. That's bad. But if you can I'll control let, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let somebody know. Right, and uh, my uh, phone number's right there. All right. So have them just give me a call, okay? Thanks, right. sir. Take care. How you doing today? Can I give you one of these? I'm trying to clean the streets up for drugs and alcohol. If you know anybody, including yourself, I'm an addiction recovery coach. I do it great. What I do is just uh, tell people the best way to recover from drugs and alcohol. Uh, You're going to have a hard time this time cleaning it up. Well, we're trying. We've been doing it for years, and it's not getting us places. But even if we get one person out of that whole time, it's better than nothing, right? Thank you. So, Thank you. You're welcome. Well, you guys heard what he said. I'm going to have a hard time here cleaning up the streets. Well, we're going to try our best, aren't we? We really are. Lots of children and young people here. Hey, how you doing? Can I give you one of these? I'm trying to clean the streets up for drugs and alcohol, if you know anyone. I know, it's tough, right? It is tough. See, I'm an alcoholic. I've been sober for a couple of years now. I used to walk from that liquor shop to the pagoda, do 10, 15 shots. And since then, I went to college became an addiction recovery coach. So I'm trying to help other people for free on recovering. I don't know if you do drugs or alcohol. Yeah, I, I, I do. I smoke weed, man. I smoke, yeah, I well, weed, so does President Clinton, up. but he didn't inhale, right? <laughs> I try to, I actually think about going to a 20 day program. Uh, like an inpatient? Yeah, but yeah. I'm just away from my job. I had to be there for 90 days, my probationary period. Well, I can so get you I'm in there. for free into a program. There's a phone number on there. Just call me right there, but check my websites out first. Okay. But, uh, the state, New York State, has free programs for people that qualify okay. for inpatient or outpatient. All right. Uh, but they're all uh, here. I'm an addiction recovery coach. I'm trying to clean the streets up. I used to be a really bad alcoholic. Oh. So my way of paying back society is by helping other people. And I used to live on Pagoda here since I moved. And I used to do 10, 15 shots walking from that liquor shop to my house a day. And just yeah, trying to... Some people are still drinking. I know. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, when you recover, you're still drinking. Well, you know what? Honestly, I relapsed six, seven times until you hit rock bottom. Uh, yeah. Because you know what? You can think you hit rock bottom, but I also tell people That's... you need to include two things. You're right, though. Yeah, you're right. But you have to do two things. You have to stop denying you have a problem, but you also have to reach to your higher power. Yeah, yeah. Because without God, they, you, yeah, you can have God. God without addiction, but you can't have addiction without God. Uh, you need to have both. And I've been there, so I know. Uh, so as pro bono, what I do is I go out and I try to help people. Every Sunday between 11 and 12, I'm walking that the ain't there. So if you know anybody, and you go on there, give me a call. I can get you in the program for free. Thank you. That ain't there. But it will be a 10 or 20-day inpatient. All right. Call me, okay? And if I don't answer the phone right away, just leave me a message with your, and if you don't want to leave your phone number, because I do know, I used to be a closet trick. I didn't want anybody knowing my business. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. Just all, all you have to do is throw me an email or whatever, and we can do the texting or whatever. It don't matter. I don't need to know who you are. What I need to know is to make sure that you're okay. That's all. Uh, all right? You. All right. My name is Ralph. Take care. Take care. Nice meeting you, okay? Right. Oh, let me give you my business card, too. Here. I forgot. You want one, too, man? Yes. There you go. You can reach me there. Thank you. I think the work, the business card says it all. Help. Because that's yeah. what we all need when we have addiction, right? Yeah. All right. Take care. Uh, Don't inhale the weed, man. Be <laughs> like President Clinton. <laughs> then it's okay. <laughs> How you doing? Can I give you one of these? It's, I'm trying to clean the streets for drug and alcohol. If you know anybody that has an addiction, including yourself, I can do it for free if you want to go into a program or something. Just call right there. Okay? okay. All righty. How are you doing today? Good. Hey, guys. 
Good, I haven't seen you since last week. I gave you one, right? Yes. You want my, did I give you my business card? Hey, guys, I'm here trying to help people with drugs and alcohol to beat it. If you know anyone, I do it pro bono. There's no charge involved. I can get you in the inpatient without, without any um, insurance if you want to check yourself in. But like I always tell people, don't do it unless you're, you know, ready to stop denying you have it. Yeah, because I mean, like you know, myself. I even the programs for like um, DVs. Uh, as an alternative to jail? No, no, like you, uh, you added the previous DV, you have to do a program. Yeah. So you can get your license back. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know exactly. Those. Well, what yeah, you um, if you see right here, yeah. there's an email address right on there. Just email me your email address uh, so I can send you the information because I don't know you, but you have my information. Contact me. Right, then I'll email you all the information. Oh, you don't do email? Don't Sometimes do you're better off without computers. I don't computers. do it to get the internet. Really. Exactly. I do Google, that's it. I know how to Google. Yeah. Yeah, but I need to know how long I have to go for it. my 28 days. I went in patient for 28 days. And make sure, right? Make sure you don't show up drunk or anything, right? Make sure you don't show up drunk or anything. You can do outpatient too. You can just go attend classes and stuff. No, it's like, yeah, it's pretty much Well, let me go. Yeah, thanks. You know what? I'll see you later. Yeah, exactly. You're welcome, sir. I need money for my kids. No, of course. You got the priorities that have to be set, you know? I mean, I'm not. I'm an alcoholic. I don't drink and get drunk. I do. I did. Not anymore. But I did. That's That was my goal. When I, I lived at Pagoda before I moved to the Hamptons, I used to walk from that liquor shop to yeah. my house at Pagoda, and no lie, between that walk, do 15 shots of vodka. I just take my shots and throw them in the bushes, thinking nobody in my house would even notice. Everybody would notice. 15 shots, come on. I gave up like almost 20 years ago. Did you? Just a beer drinker. Okay. And I used to drink to get drunk. I don't anymore. I just drink to maintain. Well, see, if you can. No, 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 no. I'm totally, I'm totally in a different page. You don't understand. I've tried AA. I've tried AA. They have the 12 steps, but if you go on my website, I have 16 alternative steps. But here's what I'm telling you. It's okay. It's okay for you to drink. I'm telling you that. As long as you can control it. Because even in the Bible, God was drinking wine. Jesus was drinking Right. So I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a hypocrite and tell you you should do. It's all about controlling. It's all about control. If you have a drug habit, you have a... It could be... Whatever, as long as you control what you do. If you're like me, I'm out of control. I need to drink to get drunk. So that's why I need help. But if you can just drink and just be sociable about it, there's nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to lie to you. You can go to work every morning. Yeah. Listen, guys, there was a guy I interviewed here, uh, must have been, I don't know, about three weeks ago. And uh, he was drinking about $300 on a Saturday and a Sunday. And every week Jeez. since then, every week since then I come down, he's down to $50 a weekend. Because what I told him is exactly what I just told you. It's okay to drink, just drink in moderation. That's all it really is. $300, you're going to all the bars. Yeah, probably. Yeah, we do yeah. but, but, but my point here is, is he's getting better because too many people tell you either drink or you don't drink. No, there's a happy medium. No, no, there is a happy medium. medium. I believe that. There is no happy medium between living and murdering. There is no happy. But when it comes to drinking, I'm not saying do drugs. I'm saying for drinking, that part. Drugs I don't do. I give them up years ago. That part is okay. My only vice is beer and cigarettes. Give me a few beers, bullshit with the guys, hanging out, have a good day. Here's a perfect example. Exactly. Here's a perfect example. My brother is a missionary. And he's a born again Christian, but when he comes to the house, he'll still have a beer. It's okay to drink, but just do it in moderation. Right. Don't drink to get drunk. Yeah, Don't. Sociable, exactly. Care, you know? Well, see, I have, I had to learn how to live without anything. It's either too much or nothing. There is no way to turn. That's how I have to live. That's right. Yeah. 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 Ye
it's not enough. That's right. Too, too many, but my father always said, rest the soul, a man should know his limitations. That's your right. And if you don't know your limitations, you're right. you know you start drinking, you know you're going to be That's a complete right. freaking maniac That's right. and don't drink. That's right. But if you can drink and maintain and bullshit and be friend and have a nice day, yeah. then it's okay. But you got to know your limitations. That's right. That's why I gave up liquor. That, I was blacked out, weekends blacked I, out. I went to Arizona and back, six days. Don't remember anything. Right. <laughs> don't, I it swear to God, tequila. <laughs> How many people do you know that has had that story? Not even, yeah. Now, I, I got a guy. Not even know how you got home. I, I got a guy who drove in my car don't even remember how I got there. Listen, I got a guy who drove an 18-wheel tractor trailer to Houston and drove in my car. Yeah. 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 Y
It stands for Community Lessons of Power Addiction Recovery. It is your lessons, your lessons, your lessons, my lessons as a community. They empower addiction recovery. That's, cool, so that's what CLEAR stands for. One is CLEAR Views. Say it again. CLEAR Views. No, say what it oh, stands for. Community Lessons and Power Addiction Recovery. And the other is CLEAR Reform because when I coach you, I'm reforming you to be a different person and transform you. So that's what the CLEAR stands for. Look me up on YouTube. Every time you hit, 15 cents in my pocket. Hey. Keep hitting away. All right, so I get seven and a half cents back. I'll tell you that Sunday I don't show up. I'll tell you to come collect then. Oh, <laughs> All right, guys. Oh, yeah, stay in touch with me, guys. I'll, I'll see you next Sunday. All right, take care. All right. And I know you work for Pat, too. Oh, okay. All right. I didn't know Pat had parents still alive. Pat? Pat's my mother's age, 74. Pat, the old lady, she's, she's my mom's age. Yeah, but I remember she said that she wanted to come over and finish a job or something. All right, guys. Later. All right. Well, now, folks, you really heard the new story. This... This guy had six DWI six. Spent a year in Riverhead Jail. Riverhead is here on Long Island. Just to touch base, I am walking the streets, Massey Beach, Neighborhood Road. Today is October 12th. We are here talking real people with real stories. Please uh, wait, and we will be interviewing another person shortly. Quite successful with that last interview. Clear. Community Lessons in Power Addiction Recovery. It's that simple, folks. Simple. Hey! What's going on? Hi, how you doing? Let me give you one of these here. How you doing today? Good? There you go. It's about drug and alcohol. Okay. You know anybody that has addiction problem, they can call me for free. I will help them. Uh, if you have any issues, just call me. Help. And it's all for free. I can help you, okay? Uh, what, you know what? You need to have God when you have addiction. You can't fight addiction without God. You really can't. Yeah, you have Jesus. But you know what? There are people that have Jesus and they have addiction too. So that's who I'm trying to help. Okay? So if you know anybody, let me. Just call me, okay? All right. How's your buddy? How's your friend? Better? All right, he's all right. Yeah, how are you? All right. You want one of these? Yeah. Do you have any drug or alcohol issues? No. Nothing. Me, Good for you. If you know anybody, have them call me. Right. Okay. We're trying to clean the streets and the world up. Trying, but it's not getting <laughs> Trying. Right. But your friend did better. Yeah. But after I talked to him, I saw him walking down with a six pack. But I said to him, it's okay to drink as long as you don't drink to get drunk. Because even Jesus drank wine. So it's okay to drink some alcohol, but you have to be responsible with it. Yeah, yeah. Control. control with anything in life. Yeah. Just like a yeah. car. That's right. But 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 your friend went from like one extreme so much his eyes were good, much better. All right guys. What's that? See the one that's sitting up there. There he is. Yeah, I just spoke to him. Yep. Yeah. 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 Uh, <laughs> we're, we're doing the inside work now. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I see you got your bread, huh? Oh, yeah. You have to take that home. You need a bigger bag. Yeah. <laughs> Get a laundry bag for 50 cents. That's right. Yeah, and stick yeah. it all in there. Carry it that way. Right? You doing good with them? Yeah, I am. Well, I don't know how good until people call me. Because they tell everybody about them, and I guess they're putting in the laundry bag. Yeah, thank you. I yes. thank you. Yeah. 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 Which one? Oh, they did? Wow. If you need 50 cents, let me have quarters in the car. All right, for the bag. How you doing? Can I give you one of these? 
I'm trying to clean the streets up with alcohol and drug abuse. Okay. If you know anyone, uh, I used to be an alcoholic and I'm an addiction recovery coach. And for free, I'm willing to help anyone that needs some coaching on how to beat it. Without having to go to AA, I could do that. Okay. If you go on YouTube, put in my, put in my business card. I do a channel 11 and uh, videos on YouTube on how to improve your life. I'm also a life coach. Go on YouTube with my name, you'll find me. Do you do uh, events? I do jails, I do BWRAAs. Yeah. Go check out my, my videos, see if they're appropriate. If they are, contact me. And there's no there's no money involved. I'll do whatever it takes to help people for nothing. Okay? Thank you. one of these, sir? I'm trying to clean the streets up for alcohol and drug abuse. If you know anybody that needs help, just to give me a call. Uh, I'm an addiction recovery coach and I'm good for free. Just trying to help the community. Okay, thanks. How are you, sir? Can I give you one of these? I know your hands are full. Uh, I'm just trying to clean the streets up for drug and alcohol abuse. If you know anyone, just give me a call. It's free of charge. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to shut this off for now. All right, so I'm back again. Neighborhood Road, Massive Beach, New York, October 12th. I'm trying to get... The real people with the real stories on drug and alcohol abuse, trying to help clean up the streets in Mastic Beach. Just explain to somebody what CLEAR and CLEAR Views and CLEAR Reform stands for, Community Lessons of Power, Addiction Recovery, and that is my goal, to help the community. So here we go again. Let's see. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for helping. How you doing? Hi, how are you? Can I give you one of these? I'm trying to clean the streets up from alcohol and drug abuse. If you know anybody that has any problems for free, I will try to help them. That's good. But I just got out of a detox morning. Did you? Congratulations. How do you feel? Very tired. Very deep. Not on Well, good. How long, how long was the detox program? Oh, five days. Wow. I did like 90% of it home. Now, what's your follow-up plan? Go to our uh, Good for you. How do you feel? I mean, I know that you're tired. Like yesterday, but I was left, but today I'm getting up and walking. Now, this is the second time I've walked into the pantry. Wow. That's, that's Are you beautiful. eating? You're eating, getting food in you yeah. and all that? That's good. why I can't eat. Right, right. Yep, I did. And are, are you missing the uh, the drugs at all? or? No. Because yeah. I know I'm an alcoholic. Like, no. I've been sober for a while, but, I, you know, I could go into a liquor shop and that little devil inside me always says, God, I wish I had one. But I know I can't control myself, so. You don't know what it is? No, I, not only that, but I just don't drink. I was, um, I got sick last in February in the hospital, gave me a blood infusion, and I was sick for two weeks. Wow. So I got sick for two weeks, and then I passed away. 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 And then I passed
do me a favor on my website. Yeah, let me give you this. On my uh, the, that piece of paper, here's my card. Uh, go take a look at my videos. I do. I'm on channel 11 sometimes. Uh, uh, right. But on YouTube, you'll find 163 videos of mine, and it addresses people like you and me daily. Uh, each day, I do an hour and a half video that goes live uh, on the wow. internet. All but right. If you go under, that's my that's my coaching. But on this piece of paper, yeah. you'll find uh, clear views. And just so you know what the clear stands for, both of my websites, Community, Lessons and Power Addiction Recovery. Okay. We as a community need to help each other. Yeah. And uh, if you go on there, on this one, you'll see all my videos. Uh, or you can just type my name into YouTube okay. or Google, and you'll see all, all right. the videos. That's but, awesome. And I, I do, Sundays I do inspiration videos. I just watched um, Ken, um, Ken Oh, yeah, yeah. He's but she's like, like, Billy Bird was on about the blood wounds. Right, right. Do you find that coming out of detox, uh, you need to include your higher power to help you? Or? Oh, even before I went in. Good for you. Oh, no, I believe in God. I have my personal book of life, God. Because uh, somebody I just spoke to just said they don't need to have God to beat an addiction. I don't believe that. I think no. you need to have both. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Oh, my God. You need to know. Well, you if you ever know. want to contact me uh, for I, an interview, I can put you on one of my shows. If you ever want, it doesn't have to be with your face. It can just be audio. Thanks. Bye bye. Another successful one. Still up there from last week. Good. Morning, folks. Can I give you one of these? Mm -hmm. It's on alcohol and addiction recovery. I'm trying to get people uh, help if they need it. In the neighborhood, clean the streets up. Yeah. Okay, if you know anyone, I mean, unless you don't need it, then. I really don't. Okay, I'll take it back. Give it to somebody that might need it. Thanks. Appreciate it. I can mail it to somebody in South Carolina, maybe, though. There you go. I'll do that. Yeah, and it's free of charge. There's no cost. I, I'm an addiction recovery coach, but I work for nothing. There you go. Mail them back, too. All right. All right, and it's a free phone call. Can't beat that. Okay. All right, thanks. <laughs> Well, too many people claim they don't need help, and I hope to God that is true. However, from my experience, you can actually, a lot of times, tell by a person's demeanor, by a person's eyes, uh, and a person's reaction of any consumption of drugs or alcohol, and uh, I would say probably... 80% of the people that say they don't need it really do need it. The problem is, is that they are they are not admitting that they need it. And that is called rock bottom. When you admit you need, that is called rock bottom, folks. So until you admit that, you might think you don't need it, but you do. And I always say this, and I'll say it again, that in order to fight and live with addiction, you need to reach out to God. You really have to reach out to God. You have to ask for guidance that direction. Because if you are in the middle of a severe addiction and you see your life crumbling around you, you obviously know that you can't control your own life. So that's where you need to reach out to God and ask Him for guidance that direction. I say this all the time. Tonight, when you go to bed, push your slippers, shoes, and sneakers under your bed instead of at the edge of the bed. And then in the morning when you wake up, you need to get on your knees to get those shoes, sneakers, and slippers. And why not then just pray to God, thank God for another day alive. For every breath you take, somebody else is taking their last breath. For every time you open your eyes and close them, maybe somebody's closing for the last time. So do that today. Start today, October 12, 2014. Make today the best day for the rest of your life. Let me help you take your life back. And you will see that it, it's 100% better living. Go to www.clearviews, that's C-L-E-A-R-V-I-E-W-S dot info and www.clearreform, that's C-L-E-A-R-R-E-F-O-R-M and you will find that uh, between both of my websites there are over 162 videos 
and those videos will help you in your daily addiction battle plan. Those videos will include the tools, the action plans, and the uh, higher power. Those, those videos will teach you from day one all the way to whatever. Those videos will include how to write chapters in your book of life. Your chapter starts at birth and ends at your death. Those videos will include all that. Go to www.clearviews.info. You can go to YouTube and just type it by name. Ralph, that's R-A-L-F. Friedrichs, F-R-I-E-D-R-I-C-H-S. Just type that into the YouTube and you'll see all my videos. Folks, I'm going to wrap this up here on Neighborhood Road, Massive Beach, New York, today, October 12, 2014. We'll wrap this up for today. And I just want to remind everyone to please include your higher power in whatever you do, whether it's fighting addiction or just being at home around your family. Include your higher power. And I just want to remind everyone to please to have a great Sunday. And more importantly, always have a sober day and a sober week. God bless everyone. Take care.